In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add Bootstrap library files to our web application using VS Code. Bootstrap allows for us to build responsive websites faster with rich experiences, leveraging both JavaScript and CSS components. In a previous video, I shared how to leverage the CDN and bring in the Bootstrap, CSS, and JavaScript frameworks into your application. In this tutorial, we're going to actually download them by going to the download site for Bootstrap. And we're going to locate the download for the compiled CSS and JavaScript and click download. Once it's downloaded, we're going to go to the download folder on your computer and we're going to extract the zip file that we downloaded and I'm going to right click and extract and inside of the extracted folders you're going to find CSS and JavaScript folders. Inside of each of those will be all of the framework files necessary to work with Bootstrap. Now I'm going to copy those here and I'm going to bring them into my workspace uh, for my web application that I'm working on in VS Code. Uh, so real quick here, I'm going to pull it up in VS Code so you can see. Um, I'm currently working in this Bootstrap tutorial folder. I have no other folders uh, there currently uh, inside of that. So what I'm going to do is go to my Explorer and I'm going to go to that folder and the only thing in there currently is my index page and I'm going to paste in the bootstrap library files, the CSS and the JavaScript folder and you'll see in real time that those folders showed up in my VS Code navigation pane. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the references. I'm going to bring in the style sheet CSS aspect of Bootstrap and I'm going to bring in the JavaScript um, part of Bootstrap. So here with the first thing I'm end up doing, I'm going to keep that same meta viewport in here which is necessary for uh, mobile design first. Uh, as part of using this framework as you saw in the previous video. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the link tag and an href here is going to reference my CSS folder and when you do that you're going to see the IntelliSense here show me all the files that are in that folder. And just like I did when I used the CDN I'm going to use the bootstrap library uh, where we have the bootstrap.min.css. So we're going to look for bootstrap-min.css and it's here in your list. That's the ideal one that we're going to end up using for this uh, demonstration. So we're going to bring that in, okay, and we'll just uh, finish off our link tag. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the script for the JavaScript. And I accidentally had an extra closing script there tag there that I didn't need. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing here now is similar to how I just brought in the uh, CSS. I'm going to bring in the script tag. okay? And the source is the attribute for our script tag, a little different than our link tag. Uh, we're going to use the JS folder. And here we're looking for bootstrap.bundle.js okay and uh, we bring that in and all we need to do now is close our script tag and this will include both components we need to work properly with bootstrap in our web application or in this case our html5 web page uh, and if you watched the previous tutorial I had placed form code for a modal form to leverage Bootstrap into my HTML5. So the expectation here is when I run this, 
page, it will behave the same way as it did as when I brought in the references from the CDN. So this bootstrap enabled form, the attributes, the classes, uh, and such on the various HTML5 tags um, are leveraging Bootstrap's capabilities. And, and you can see those closer uh, by looking through the code a bit. You see the classes uh, and you see some of the additional tags, uh, some of which I went over in the other video. But here, when we click Run, and I'll do start Run Without Debugging again, this will open my browser. And if I click Bootstrap Modal Form, you'll see that it works properly because it's locating both of the Bootstrap framework components, both the CSS and the JavaScript aspects from my local folders that are all part of my web application. Uh, so if I was going to publish this to a web server, I would publish the CSS and the JavaScript folders. Uh, again, I don't need everything that's in those because I'm only using two of the, the library files. So we could certainly clean those up uh, instead of publishing everything. Uh, but that'll make your application bootstrap enabled and you can start leveraging it uh, when you build your sites. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any comments, please feel free to share them uh, below. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also reach out to me personally uh, by going to professorwolf.com. Additionally, uh, if you enjoy the videos and want to stay uh, in the loop on future ones, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.